Doug, we talk in this interview about hope and about potential, and yet there are private clinics all around the world offering stem cell therapy for these diseases today. That's right. Patients are willing to uh, take the chance to go into a place where the laws are not clear about uh, the use of stem cells in medicine, or they're not enforced, uh, and then they believe that they're just bypassing that uh, regulatory delay. But the fact of the matter is that the scientific situation right now is still uh, an issue of possibility rather than a reality or an established fact. When did you first hear of these offshore clinics offering stem cell treatments? Uh, it must have been about five years ago. And how have these operations grown, say, in the last five years or so? I would say the growth has been explosive. I've been tracking it uh, kind of closely for the past three years, and uh, I've been able to come up with more than 200 clinics that are offering some uh, version of stem cells for some type of medical condition uh, for which there's no really uh, good evidence that the stem cells would be either safe or effective.